um, for the third district court of, of no more opinions, written opinions from now on. Is that was your guarantee? Oh, okay. Um, he is a member of the Florida Board, Board of Governors, has been a member of our board since 2015. And I already talked to you about the fact that he has a rock and roll show, but he's also, I, you're a Gator fan, right? So unfortunately, I don't really like the Gators, sorry guys, but I'm a Kane and a failed Seminole. Uh, but come on, Ed, come on up. <clears throat> this is you. Larry, why don't you swallow that biscuit and come on up here and join me on the stage, Dr. Tyree? Yeah, yeah. First of all, I would like to say nobody told me that half the damn Supreme Court would be here. So I got to take that out. I got to take that out. I'm going to take that out. Okay. When uh, Donnie and Bob and Murray asked me to present the non-lawyer Medal of Honor to my dear friend, Dr. Larry Tyree, I said, that's going to be a piece of cake. I've already got the remarks written. You see, Dr. Tyree had been appointed by the Florida Supreme Court to serve two terms on the Florida Bar's Board of Governors as one of the non-lawyer members. And when Dr. Tyree left that board and retired. I had the uh, honor of roasting uh, outgoing board member Larry Tyree. How many of you have ever been to a Florida Bar Board of Governors roast? No. Then you know my glee was fleeting because there's not one damn word of that raunchy roast uh, <laughs> that I can use here, especially in front of uh, the Florida Supreme Court which is a true shame because it contains some of my best material. Um, I met Dr. Tyree about 20 years ago when I was on the Board of Trustees of this little community college in the Keys, appropriately titled Florida Keys Community College. And we were in desperate need of an interim president. And at that time, this was 20 years ago, Dr. Tyree had spent some 40, 45 years in higher education leadership. He had been president of both Gulf Coast Community College in Panama City and Santa Fe Community College in Gainesville. In fact, they liked him at Santa Fe so much, they named a t-shirt after him, the Santa Fe College Lawrence Tyree Library t-shirt. Bob, that's a joke, they named the library after him. I'll, I, anyway. um, after retiring and being named president emeritus of both of those institutions, Dr. Tyree did something that no one in higher education had ever done before that. He went around the country serving as interim president of various colleges. Cumulatively, he presided over 100,000 students and 10,000 faculty and staff in all Dr. Tyree, and I'm not making this up, Dr. Tyree served as president of nine colleges and universities. Personally, I had no idea the foundation gave an award to somebody who can't hold down a job, <laughs> but I digress. Anyway, a, a full professor at the University of Florida, and with this amazing background, I figured and so did our board that he would be perfect for our little tiny little community college down in the Florida Keys. This is absolutely true. We hired Dr. Tyree on a six month contract to essentially oversee a full fledged presidential search. But once Dr. Tyree started as president of Florida Keys Community College, our board had no intention whatsoever of conducting a presidential search or hiring anybody else. And we essentially duped Dr. Tyree into serving three and a half years at Florida Keys Community College. He righted our financial ship, fixed some rather serious audit issues, successfully brought us through the accreditation process, and even 
made our demoralized faculty happy without the use of narcotics. <laughs> and again, I'm not making this up. Recognizing the horrible financial straits that the college was in at the time, and because the college couldn't afford the meager salary that we had negotiated with him, Dr. Tyree did this job taking a voluntary 50% pay cut. Obviously, Larry Tyree's doctorate is in education and not math. <laughs> so, it took several years, but in the spring of 2018, I finally got the opportunity to personally thank Dr. Tyree in my own special way. I called him on the phone and was honored to tell him that he had been unanimously selected to serve an unpaid term as interim director of the Florida Bar Foundation, a job for which he had never applied nor ever knew existed. And he was serving on the JQC, and he still serves on the JQC, and it's not every day that a judge gets to call a member of the JQC and say as follows, congratulations, you've got a new unpaid full-time job in charge of distributing millions of IOTA dollars to Florida's legal aid providers. Oh, by the way, you need to be there at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And if you've got a minute, I'll tell you what IOTA stands for. <laughs> Dr. Tyree's hair was jet black before he started the foundation job. But like every other thing that Dr. Tyree set his mind to do, everything he'd ever undertaken, he served our foundation perfectly. He righted our financial ship and brought us through a very, very difficult time. He served with style, grace, civility, professionalism, humanity, and above all, compassion. Compassion for those countless Fl Floridians who desperately need legal services, but can't afford it. His service to the higher education system, the Florida Bar, the Florida Judiciary, the citizens of Florida, and the foundation resulted in seven, seven past foundation presidents nominating Dr. Tyree for the FFLA Non-Lawyer Medal of Honor Award. Ladies and gentlemen, for your leadership, your stewardship, your stewardship and service to others through the higher education system for promoting equal justice and for your devotion to serving the Florida Bar as a volunteer, FFLA presents you with the 2024 Medal of Honor for a non-lawyer. Congratulations, my friend. Good morning, and thank you, Your Honor, I think. <laughs> While uh, serving on a bank board in Gainesville a number of years ago, we were told that we should ask for business four times and say thank you to our customers for their business seven times. Well, I'll ask for no business this morning, but I may say thank you seven times, starting with Bruce Blackwell and the six other past FFLA presidents who nominated me for this award, and for the FFLA board members who actually selected me for this award. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not with me this morning is my wife, Kathleen, who is president of Valencia College here in Orlando with its some 